So, hello guys, uh, my name is Nuno Teixeira and um, this is the last video on the series that I have been working on um, in the past few weeks. Um, first of all, I want to thank everyone for uh, watching this series and I hope that I could um, I hope that I could uh, help some people to start uh, working on uh, robot structure analysis and uh, make that a better process. Sometimes it can be hard if you have no one to help you. Uh, but okay, so now Let's work on the exercise. This is a section definition. It is uh, based on this section definition part of robot structural analysis. So uh, let's start. Let me switch to robot. Let me press more and go to section definition. Okay. First of all, I'm going to file menu, as you may see, first of all, uh, as you may see, it's quite different from the previous sections of uh, robot that we have been working. So let me go to file menu and uh, hit the new section, solid one over here. Very good. Uh, now, view menu grid step, I want to define a grid step of one centimeter, already defined, okay, apply and close, now I'm going to select the circle from the section definition toolbar and enter the coordinate, zero, re zero, zero, press tab and it's a radius of 10, apply, this will define the outer ring of this circle. Okay. Now let's define the inner one, zero, zero with a radius of nine, meaning that this will have a thickness of one centimeter. Okay, I'm going to press the X over here. I'm going to press the external contour and on the contour menu properties I'm going to select the material it will be still okay I'm going to apply and hit OK now you may see that over here we have changed the material from this solid cross section Okay, now let's go to results, menu, geometric property, and uh, watch the results. And uh, this starts the calculation of the section properties. The dialog box presents below is open on the screen. And you may see the geometrical and uh, weighted values for this cross section. Okay, now. If you press these additional calculations, it will give you this. Just press calculate, robot will calculate this, and then you will have these values available for you as you may see here. Okay, I'm going to close the calculation note. And now you can save this cross section to the database. Just press File menu and save to database. The database will be user. The name will be circ. Just give your dimensions here. OK. And select the circle symbol over here, which is an important step. Otherwise, section type is an important step otherwise you may not calculate in the steel 
design uh, tab, you will not be able to calculate this cross section. You have to define the section type. Okay. When saving to the database, I'm going to enter 20 here and one here. Now let's define a thin wallet section. Okay. I'm going to file menu, new section, thin wallet. No, I don't want to save it. I'm going to select the polygon over here. I'm, um, I'm staying with this thickness 0 0.2 and I'm going to enter point P1 will have coordinates 0 0 apply point 2 will have 10 0 apply the next point will have 0 minus 10 apply and the last point will be 10 minus 10 apply very good. I'm going to press the X button and there you have your cross section. It's a Z. Okay, now I'm going to results menu. Geometric property results, it will show the results for this cross section. Okay, as you may see, it will give you the area, the center of gravity, the shear center, the dimensions, and also the material picked for this cross section. So now let me close this. Go to the results menu, geometric properties and graphical results. Results menu, geometrical properties and graphical results. And I'm going to turn the S omega option on over here. Okay. Now I'm going to close. Uh, the section definition has a lot of more things to dig down. But this is the end of this exercise. I will be doing more exercise in the next weeks. Uh, not from this list, as they are over. We don't have any more. So once again, thank you very much for bearing here with me and uh, as I said in the beginning of the video I hope I could help someone out there to work and perform better in robot structural analysis. It is with uh, great pleasure that I end all this series. Use it at your own risk Always be critical when working with robot. Robot is just a program for performing calculations. And sometimes you can just enter some wrong input and the program will give you bad results. The program always performs the calculations in the right manner, in the right way. Always performs good calculations. The problem is the input. So if I can, or if I may give you a suggestion, this is the best one. Always um, take a pen and uh, verify if your beam, if your simple supported beam with a distributed load uh, has a maximum moment of uh, P L squared over eight, where this is P and L, it's a spam of the beam. Okay, always perform this kind of calculations. You may just input the self weight may be wrong, the material may be wrong, the stiffness may be wrong, always take care of that. You need to be aware of that. Okay. So, the next weeks will be more. Once again, thank you very much. Please subscribe and uh, give this video and the others a like. It will help me very much. So, thank you very much.